Creek Angler and we're continuing our work through Steve Scoose's book Grayling Flies. This is fly number 49, the flat belly pink shrimp. I've got a number 12 partridge of reddish straight eye grub hook and barbless in the vise and some fluorescent pink thread in my bobbin. Um, unlike the normal pink shrimp, this, which was fly number 48, this fly has a bead planted right in the middle of the fly. So we're going to take care of that first. What I've done is uh, make a couple of passes in front and behind of that bead so that while we're working on the rest of the fly, it's not going to go anywhere on us. And now we'll just travel back down the bend of the hook. You can see this is going to be a, a very easy tie. There's nothing difficult about it at all. Um, I tied a tungsten bead on because I didn't want to... Um, have to add any additional lead to it um, but our ribbing on this is going to be some pink I'm sorry some silver wire be careful of the hook points on these partridge hooks they are super sharp and we'll travel back down the the bend and we'll tie in a, um, a piece of pearl mylar ribbing here Mylar um, tinsel, whatever this is, that we're going to use for our shell back. Remember to always tie things in in reverse order from how they're going to be used in the final construction of whatever you're tying. Now we'll go with our pink dubbing blend here. And um, don't dub this on too tightly because we're going to want to go in with a, a tool of some sort in a moment and um, pull some of these fibers down for the, the legs on this sh uh, shrimp. In the U.S. we call these scuds. So we've got a dubbing noodle with dubbing on it. We'll come up. You can see this is not um, all that tight on purpose. And we'll skip over the, um, actually we'll pull this excess off on this side. And jump the hook, or jump the bead. And apply a new dubbing noodle. And make our way toward the eye of the hook. Let's give that a, a reset there. Bring our, dub, our um, shell back over top of the bead. This is going to want to um, slide on you. So I'm going to keep my finger on top. So I make a couple turns over and a turn in front of the eye. And in whatever direction you wrap the um, the wire, it's going to want to torque your shell back in that direction. So you'll want to continuously kind of self-correct for that and make sure that that shell back is staying right on top of the hook. And then once we get up to the eye, we'll cross the thread. Reach in to helicopter that off. Gonna tie in a quick whip finish. Got a neat little head built up already. And to finish this fly off, we'll take a drop of um, Sally Hansen's or your favorite head cement, apply it to the thread, and whip finish the, um, the end.
have the fly number 49, the um, flat belly pink shrimp. And to finish this guy off, we'll just take a, a tool of um, your choosing. This is a um, little gun cleaner tool. And give the, um, the bottom and edges of this fly a, a run and um, create some legs for yourself for that, uh, that scud pattern. So I am certain this fly will catch fish um, of, of all types. So give it a, um, give it a tie and happy time.